Hey, how y'all doing? So I got a trade review for you today. So we're going to break this down, this GBP CAD. We're going to go over it. And I'm going to teach you everything or um, how I executed on this step by step. But first things first, before we do that, I want to bring to your attention that this trade, this trade setup, it was alerted in my free Discord chat room. Okay. So if any of you guys want a daily watches from me, because every single morning I post my watch list, this GBP CAD, which I posted right here. Look at this. This was posted in the free Discord chat room. I said GBP CAD daily market structure is 100% bearish. Four hour just pushed up into a higher time frame, four hour bearish OB and lower time frame still bullish. And what I said was, so now what I would want to see is that lower time frame shift in market structure to the downside. Once we get that, we got something. When I say I got something, that means we got to set up. All right, because then there's the one hour at the time that I posted it this morning, the very first chart that I posted, you can see how it was bullish. And if you've watched my videos on market structure, you've watched the market structure series, you know what that looks like. You know what a shift looks like. So once we got that shift, you could have went in and you could have positioned yourself. So you knew right away what I had my eyes set on. You know that you already knew the plan. And I post watch lists like this every single morning that the market is open in my free Discord chat. There's gonna be a link to that free Discord chat in the video description. 100% free, there's no catch. It doesn't cost you anything to join this chat. And I also got tons of educational material in here as well. And I got tons of amazing traders in here that you can connect with, right? So that's GBP CAD, let's pull up the chart now. So we've already concluded the daily market structure is 100% bearish, but here's the deal on the four hour chart. The four hour market structure also bearish, but with my personal trading strategy, with my personal model, sure I need the daily chart confirmed bearish, but I also need a higher time frame level to trade off of. So in this case, in this example on GBP CAD, we had a higher time frame bearish order block, which is right here. See this? These last series of up close candles prior to having that shift in market structure right here this makes that your bearish order block and not only is it a bearish order block it's a high probability bearish order block it's high probability because we took liquidity and we get we had a we had the fair value gap in there as well so it's a high probability bearish order block right here it's on the four hour chart therefore it's a higher time frame level of resistance daily is daily market structure is bearish so we've concluded the daily market structure is bearish we got a four hour market structure bearish we're testing a higher time frame point of interest right here this is during london session and let's go down to a lower time frame now because what do we need next what do we need next now that it's testing this higher time frame point of interest i want to see a lower time frame shift and if you remember as we were just talking about at the time that i first posted it the market structure was bullish on the one hour chart i mean let's switch back to the chat real quick look at that chart right here where my cursor's moving see how it's bullish at the time that i posted it and then look how we got this shift right here so here's what happened this morning this was if you look at my cursor this is midnight new york what we saw happen was we got our Judas swing at the beginning of London session, aka our manipulation run, which was this push up right here. This push up right here was up into our higher time frame bearish order block, and we took upper liquidity on that Judas swing, which is what you want. That's the ideal scenario for a bearish environment. And then what happens after pushing up into that bearish order block in London? Boom, you get a big displacement lower coming into New York kill zone. It comes down and it cracks its short-term low, cracks its short-term low. And notice it leaves our fair value gap confirmation. I need that fair value gap as well. There's your fair value gap. This is our reaction off of a higher time frame point of interest. Now, what do we need next? We need a, re do I want to be selling? Do I want to be shorting as it's selling off right, like right here? No, I want to push up into a premium to get short. Premium means expensive. I want it in an expensive marketplace. So what I do next is I take my Fibonacci from the high of the displacement range to the low of the displacement range. And look at how it pushed up above 50% equilibrium. I got in once it's traded up above 50% equilibrium of that price range. Because at that point, it's considered expensive. It's considered expensive within that price range. So we pushed up into a premium. We found resistance. And then we sold off. Okay, so your stop. Your stop would have been above this high, the high of the displacement range, and your profit target, there's actually a few different options for you on this. You could have shot for this low right here. That is the, that's that was low of day. There's, that's a key significant liquidity pull. But also, here's the thing. This is a valid PT as well. Look right here. Look at my cursor. That's previous day's lows. That was untapped liquidity serving as a draw. That was a valid PT too. 
previous day's lows was a valid PT. And guess what? Even you have this low right here. See this? Look back, Hersher. That higher time frame liquidity pool, you could have shot for that as well. Because here's the thing, here's the beautiful thing about this strategy is you're trading with the higher time frame trend. You're trading with the higher time frame trend. You pull back into a four hour premium. Price has essentially had a chance to breathe and you can now shoot for these levels down here. That is a valid PT. It's just really up to you and how aggressive you want to be with it. But yep, I mean, that was the trade today. Just, I mean, that's like a picture perfect A plus setup basically. Had everything that I wanted. So if you guys enjoyed this review, make sure you leave a like, you subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you later.